Lynn Chadwick was one of the leading British sculptors of post-war Britain and he came to international recognition after 1956 where he won the prize for international sculpture at the Venice Biennale and he beat Giacometti to the prize. His background was as a draftsman and an architect but he began to make sculpture in the early 50s and continued to do so throughout his lifetime until 2003. So in Berlin, we're showing works from the early 50s and 60s period, bronze works, and then also from a later part um, of his career, from 1989 to 90s, when he started working in the material stainless steel, where he produced a series of beasts which we're showing downstairs in the Berlin space. We also have exhibitions at Blaine Southern in London, which uh, we're showing monumental bronze works from the 50s and 60s, and then also maquettes of the welded steel works um, downstairs. And we have a third exhibition opening at Blaine de Donna, our sister gallery in New York, at the end of this month which will be showing unique works from the very early 50s. So Chadwick was always interested in um, blurring the lines between abstraction and um, figurative work. And he began um, looking at the theme of beasts very early on in his practice. Um, and at that point he was casting those works in bronze. And then later on he became interested in the medium of welded steel. He'd worked with it only once before in the 60s um, and returned to it again 20 years later. And it was this series of beasts that he curated. Um, and you can see that they're all um, in frozen states of motion. So we have howling beast and beast alerted. And so they're all captured in um, a, a moment of, of movement. This particular piece, I must tell you, is the first thing that struck me when I was first went into my husband's house, mm -hmm. because he'd already lived there when I met him for some like, two, three years. And this was on top of the stairs. Yeah. And as I came up the stairs, there was this sculpture, and it's called a stranger. And it has always remained my most favorite image really because the, the notion of the stranger is so evocative of so many things one could talk about it for hours and um, in, actually if one gets a bit sentimental <laughs> we, years later there was a song called strangers in the night strangers <laughs> and so, so that's a bit schmaltzy <laughs> but nevertheless this is to me personally as a uh, his wife. It is, it is my favorite sculpture. Well, this is this is what distinguishes him from other artists. This here, these lines, these are the welded bronze, uh, welded iron um, pieces, and he stitches them together, welding, and then fills it in. This is filled in with um, this mixture of stolid, which is called, which is iron and gypsum mixture, mm -hmm. which is soft, and he puts it in like that, and then works on it afterwards. So that's the technique, which is really unique to him, because most sculptors work in marble or plaster or wood or whatever, and they carve it, but he's a maker. He, he makes this armature, this is part of it, that goes from here to here. Then before it's filled in, it's like an empty frame. And then he fills it in and works on it, and then it's cast into bronze.